So a friend of mine asked me to audition for a mod for Final Fantasy VII that will put voices into it, which is obviously a very ambitious undertaking. We'll see how that goes. And I figured I'd match that ambition by auditioning for as many characters as possible. So, here we go. President! Are we really going to do this? Simply destroy a group with only a few members. We have the damage estimates for Sector 7. Considering those factories we already set up and all the investments, the damage is estimated at approximately... 10 billion gil. Hojo, stop! The cannon, no, Midgar itself, is in danger! Hojo! Hojo! My father tried to control the world with money. That worked for him. But I'll do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. A little fear will control the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste money on them. Once word gets out that Sephiroth's here, Cloud and his friends will show up too. We can't have them get in our way. I thought I told you to stop that stupid laugh. You are to be executed for causing this situation. People are ignorant. They'll feel better as long as someone is punished. Well, enjoy your last moments together. Are you going to kill me? I don't think you should. The equipment here is extremely delicate. Without me, who could operate it? Hmm? There is no such thing as the promised land. It's a legend, an old wives' tale. It's utterly ridiculous. <laughs> oh, just you wait, Sephiroth. I'll give you all the Marco you want. Ah, oh, here. Put this on. It smells a little, though, but don't complain. Huh, you look pretty good in that. Well, what are you going to do when we get to Midgar? I know what I'm going to do. I got a place I can crash for a while. Ah, no, wait. The mother lives there, too. Oh, I guess that's out. I got a lot of brains and skill that other guys don't. That settles it. I'm going to become a mercenary. Our mission is to investigate an old Mako reactor. There have been reports of it malfunctioning and producing brutal creatures. First, we will dispose of those creatures. Then... We'll locate the problem and neutralize it. <laughs> They've come again, Mother. With her superior power, knowledge, and magic, Mother was destined to become the ruler of this planet. But they, those worthless creatures, are stealing the planet from Mother. But now I'm here with you. What would happen if there was an injury that threatened the very life of the planet? Think how much energy would be gathered. <laughs> and at the center of that injury will be me. All that boundless energy will be mine. Mayor? He just sits in this building all day, feeding his face. You still call that a mayor? The president is dead! Now I'm doing things my way! <laughs> this is the promised land the president has been searching for! A pro isn't someone who sacrifices himself for his job. That's just a fool. And don't misunderstand. We have no intention of joining you. But for now, we'll agree not to kill each other. That's all. I was frozen in time. But I feel as if my time is just beginning. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucrezia. She was an assistant to Professor Gast of the Genova Project. Beautiful Lucrezia. There was no way to cancel the experiment. I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. Woohoo! I love chickies who play hard to get. Yowza! Oh, we're finally alone. All right, pussycat. Come to daddy. Uh, a man? You'll trick me! Somebody get in here! Now! You'll have a hard time disarming that one. 
It'll blow the second some fool touches it. <laughs> well, it should be starting right about now. And think you can escape in time? The ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Aerith will be able to bring happiness to all those in the slums. That is why Shinra would like Aerith's cooperation. <laughs> Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. His forty-eight years would only be equivalent to, say, that of a fifteen- or sixteen-year-old in human reckoning. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? Their body decomposes and returns to the planet. What about their consciousness, their hearts and their souls? Their soul, too, returns to the planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. Are you crazy? It's dangerous in there. You think an old man like me should go first? I'll be right behind you. Hell no! It ain't us! It's the damn Shinra! It's never been nobody but the Shinra! They're evil and destroying the planet just to land their damn pockets with gold! Our fight ain't never gonna be over until we get rid of them! Remember that huge monster from the bottom of the crater? He's up here, going around tearing shit up! Right now, Rufus is fighting it. <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but he's got guts. Execution? What are you gonna get by executing us? I'll take back what little praise I had for this damn jackass. I apologize for what happened back there. I was merely acting to throw Hojo off guard. Besides, I have a right to choose. I don't like two-legged things. I am Nanaki of Cosmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Sato. I'll become a warrior true to that name. Grandpa. I'll see to what's happening to the planet, and I'll come back to tell you. Now, before Shinra was a Mako company, they were a weapons manufacturer. They came up with this rocket engine. It chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me? I mean, come on. Now shut up, sit your ass down in that chair, and drink your goddamn tea! Well, because of science, humans who used to crawl around on the ground can now fly. And soon we're about to go into space. I've made my living thanks to science, so to me, there's nothing greater. And now, the piece de resistance. Thinking of running away? Stay and fight! Fight, I said! Come on, what's the matter? You must be pretty scared of me, huh? You saw what it looks like now, right? Just a resort town. After we lost the war, we got peace, but we lost something more valuable. Now look at Wu Tai. <laughs> so, there you have it. <laughs>